WAMP is a software stack of Windows operating system consisting of Apache, MySQL and PHP. Where Apache is a web server software, MySQL is a database management software and PHP is a server-side scripting language which can be implemented on your Windows PC without the need for an actual web server. First, right click on My Computer and click on Properties. Here, find your system type. Mine is a 64-bit operating system. Then open your web browser and go to wampserver.com slash en. The link will be in the description box below. And in here, click on download tab and click on the download link based on your computer configuration. Mine is a 64-bit and if you don't have Visual C++ already installed on your PC, you can click on this link to download it. To download the WAMP server, click on directly download button. The download will start within few seconds. When the download is done, open the setup file and select your language. I accept the agreement. Next. Next. And select the installation path. I recommend leaving it to its default. Next. Next. And install. Wait for a few minutes for the installation to complete. When the installation is done, it will ask to choose a default web browser for WAMP. Click No if you want to use Internet Explorer. Click Yes if you want to use any other web browser by navigating to its exe file. I am going to use Google Chrome which is located in C program files x86 google chrome application and double click on chrome.exe next you have to choose a default text editor i am going to leave it to its default by clicking no finish the installation by clicking on next then finish now run the wamp server if you get any error messages like these, you have to install a patch. The link will be in the description box below. After running, you should get a green light. If you get red or yellow light, then there may be a problem which is mostly fixed by right clicking on the WAMP icon, tools, change port address. Set a port address. I am going to change it to 8080 and click on OK button. Now open your web browser and type localhost. You have to add a colon followed by changed port address. If you haven't changed it, entering localhost is just enough. And you should get a page on your web browser. You can click on PHP info to get information and configuration of your PHP. By clicking on PHP My Admin, you can access your MySQL database where the default username is root and the password is blank. Finally, to check everything works perfectly, I am going to run a simple PHP code by left clicking on the WAMP icon www directory. This will locate me to the localhost folder. I am going to create a new text document and type a sample PHP code which displays hello world on the screen. Save it with the .php extension on the www directory.
Now I am going to run that PHP file on my browser by navigating to its address. And PHP runs fine. Thank you for watching this video guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this.